money, do it all for the G. I gotta keep in mind that relatives of mine is trying to build like me. Sit down with G Connect, gotta think. Every moment got you tapping the mental and looking out for the key. As a youngin', do it all for the G. I gotta keep in mind that relatives of mine is trying to build like me. Sit down with G Connect, gotta think. Every moment got you tapping the mental and looking out for the key. Whoa. Yeah, this your boy Brian when it came, you tapping in with G Connect. With different generations having real conversations, you heard me? What's cracking? It's your boy Chill, original campus most wanted in the building. You know I'm down with G Connect. With different generations have real conversations. That that. What up? This your boy DJ Cell tapping in with G Connect. With different generations have real conversations. If you don't understand that, something wrong. Yes, sir. You here with Chef Boy, man? G Connect. Where different generations have real conversations. Let's get it. Hey, yo, what up? It's none other your man, Richie Evans, Mr. Can't Knock the Hustle himself. And right now I'm tapping in with my homeboy, G-Connect, where different generations have real conversations. You already know what it is, man. Holla at me. Richie. How, how many albums and mixtapes do you have to date? Can you know? hey. I wish I could really count all of them, bro. You know what? I started out with the very first one called Nothing Bigger Than The Big. It's got me and Kevin Gates' face on the front of it. So it got some of Gates' music. It got some of my music. It was a mixtape where uh, I think DJ P Exclusive put together a DJ from Canada and another DJ, Trapaholics, if I'm not mistaken. But it's, it's a couple of DJs back then. The DJ was to push the way to get your music out through mixtape. And uh, live mixtapes is where my music is really at. Really at. And on SoundCloud. So I would say about 10 or better, 10, 15 better mixtapes, uh, singles. Man, I'm still dropping singles now. You know, I'm telling about 20 singles. Um, yeah, I would say about 15 good mixtapes. So the that single one was game. Beethoven. Huh? So the single game today is way better than the album game. Yeah, because, you know, when I drop, like, you know, if you really was in tune, you wouldn't really be asking me how many I had because you would know. So that means I didn't do something right within myself with my marketing because I put I'm doing everything myself with my money and my budget. So I miss some because everybody don't know all my music. They only know a couple of songs. But I actually got over, like I said, a hundred and some songs probably released. Oh, okay. Yeah. And I was pushing so hard with that and I went focusing on people really, really, really noticing the music. And that's why I missed that. So now that I'm restructured and coming back out. With the TSF, with the Sauce Factory, Sauce Walker, Country P, the Twins, salute to them. Um, I'm really focusing on trying to let people know who I am and put the face with the music so they can hear the music. Right. The brand for we, sure. We're gonna get authorization from you to to you know showcase some of your music from time. Man, showcase it, man. Whatever. It, it's it's, it it's the, real support. Mm -hmm. It's really I gotta tell you, thank you and pre I appreciate the support. You know what I'm saying? By having me on your podcast, G Connect, reaching out to me, man, I really appreciate it. So whatever you need from me, whatever you need to use to support me, of course, go ahead. Appreciate okay. it. Appreciate and it. out of all the projects you have, what would you say was probably your, I guess, the one you were most proud of? Man, I got to say this. I got to say, see, like I said, my first one was with Kevin Gates on there. His face, that blew me up. Right. That was, that was. That was like, you know, that don't even be in there with the rest of them. The rest of them I got, all of them is, is Menace to Society, uh, All Gas, No Breaks, Badly Famous. Badly Famous got to be one of the special ones, though. Badly Famous because it was it was produced, the whole thing was produced by Zaytoven. So salute to Zaytoven. Oh. And my boy Swamp Izzo, we signed to uh, Rich Gang. Um, he signed to Rich Gang now. His name is Swamp Izzo. He a DJ out of, out of Atlanta. So that was a big thing then, you know what I'm saying? He was at the Blue Flame. He ran over there at the Blue Flame, and he ran it out of radio station, ATL. So that 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 one with Swamp Izzo and Zaytoven, that's one of the main ones, and it got the single on there for me and Kevin Gates while she talking. Oh. And that video did 1.6 million on the, on the first YouTube and World Star. So oh. that's got to be one of my number ones, Badly Famous. Oh, okay. how, how did you come about the, the feature for Bootsy? Boosie, man, I, I've been knowing Boosie before I started really doing music myself, but I got reintroduced to Boosie, and I always thought Boosie was a real nigga, you know what I'm saying, because he always came to the hood, he always hit me up, I'm always with Boosie when he come out, 
So I was like, it's a must that I got to do a song with Boo. So I got uh, this guy to reach out named Coy. He from, he from Huntsville. He knew this guy from Birmingham that was managing him named Jay Cooper. Reached out to Jay Cooper. Jay Cooper put Boosie on FaceTime. Shit, we kicked it off. I pulled up at his crib. We shot the video. And then I had to leave. I had to go out the country to Africa, man. That same, like, 6 o'clock that morning. So as soon as we get through shooting the video, about 4.35, I got to go straight to the airport. So, you know what I mean? It was a dope experience. Me and him always been homie. So, yeah, it was, it was a good experience. Right. Shout, Shout out to Pussy. You know. Uh, Are you working on anything new right now? Yeah, you know, I'm always working on something. I just dropped a single called Alabama, August the 23rd. It was dedicated to one of my first relatives. He passed on August 23rd. Also, it's my brother's birthday, August the 23rd. So, happy birthday, RIP to Ted Kane. Uh, Man, uh, I'm always dropping. I'm, I'm looking forward to dropping my next one now. I'm thinking it's going to be the main one speeching El Zappo. He from Michigan. He from uh, Harbor Benton, uh, Michigan. He uh, he a fam goon artist, Free Rallo. Okay. Yeah, he a fam goon artist over there. And we looking forward to dropping that single and video. I also got a video with my boy from H-Town named Foco Wu. And uh, I already got that video done. I mean, I'm dropping. I'm dropping something every other month. You ain't you ain't gonna miss me now. It's, and then I'm gonna do marketing and promo on one song. I'm gonna take my time with that. Makes sense. Better than a whole project. What What are some of the resources that that's helping you out along the way? Man, I know I know pretty much everybody in the game. It's just about me uh, picking my pride up, going around, hanging out in in these studios and. And, and, and getting up in people's faces and, and you know saying communicate, but man, I got Zaytoven, I got the whole Zaytoven count, I got Foundation Media, they're another distribution company. I got Creative Music, that's a TSF deal through distribution. I got Sauce Walker, I got Sosa Man, I got Project Pat Juve, uh, shit, BG just got out. Hey man, good BG free, uh, BG support me, I support him. I boy Turk. It go, it man, I, I man, it's so many people that support me, bro. From Tennessee, I got Buck, you know what I mean? Man, I got Starlito. Mm -hmm. Shit, man. Everybody done trip from Memphis. I mean, uh say so. He from he from TSF, he from Memphis, say so P. Uh Southwood winning. Everybody support me right now from, from the TSF family. So it's enough for us to be able to push and move through any situation that we need. Can you name three people who have been most influential in your life? People? People. Uh, yeah, like I say, my mama, you know, my father, my brothers. So, you know what I'm saying? And then you want to know Kevin Gates, Sauce Walker, Zay Tobin, Juvenile, Boosie, Fredo <laughs> Bang. I forgot about Fredo <laughs> Bang, the Bang Man. The Bang Man. Hey, the Bang Man is one of the realest in the game. Salute to Fredo Bang Man and, and uh, Hard Body Beasy. Hard Body just did that uh that Alabama beat for me, and he Fredo Bang producer. We we stay in contact. So so Fredo Bang is the number one on the list too, man. He a real one. Salute to Fredo. Okay. What's what's one thing you wish you known when you started your career? Man, I wish I had known to get my paper paperwork right with this with these strings and this this money thing so I wouldn't have got played out of so much bread before I realized I had got cheated out of my money. So I really realized I, I really uh, wish I would have just thought and read every word, all the paperwork, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's like 100%, it's 90% business, 10% rap, if you know what I mean. So... I wish I had got that straight. I wouldn't probably wouldn't be in the situation I'm in now. But by the grace of God, I'm I'm crawling. I'm I'm back on my feet. So I'm moving forward to uh, better things, better situations in the music industry. That's right. Absolutely. That's right. Yeah. Got to keep it positive, man. I ain't got nothing bad to say about nobody. It's all love. If you was my brother before, you still my brother. Then if you don't fuck with me, and you ain't fuck with me. Then you don't fuck with me. Fuck you now. <laughs> right. Facts. Yeah. yeah. That's that right. is. <laughs> what's 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 your biggest mistake to date and what did you learn from it? My biggest mistake from what? To date. To date. To date. To date. And what did you learn like from it? Like I said, bro, I gotta go back to 
it's bad investments I made when I got my money through family members, through people. I thought that was going to help me. I had businesses and this and that. They were stealing. That, that's a situation. I go back to what I was just saying about the 90% business, the 10% rapping. Because I would be a whole lot further if I was all about the business. I thought all I had to do was be a rapper. Nobody was telling me, oh, this going to happen. These people going to start hating on you from this and that. It's people that's with you that's really over here calling in behind your back trying to stop your motion. So this game right here, man, I seen baby said, I was looking somewhere on Instagram, baby said, you swimming, you swimming with dolphins in a in a sea full of sharks. Mm -hmm. You swimming with dolphins in a sea full of sharks. So yeah. <laughs> hey, man. hey man, it's real. It, it reality kick in when that when them when them uh, money signs get behind it. You know what I'm saying? You be like, damn. You be like, damn, I know, I know, bro. He, they, they rich as fuck. Why they fucking with me? They got millions already. It don't yeah. matter. Be like that. It don't that matter. motion. They don't want that motion. Like that plies. Salute the plies. That's my only. So he gave me some good advice, man. Salute the plies. Real one. This episode of G Connect is brought to you by my folks over at Trust Me Vodka, Ultra Premium Vodka. Trust me. It go, homie. Holla at your boy. So check out the sponsor, Trust Me Vodka, at TrustMeVodka.com and Trust Me Vodka on Instagram. G Connect with different generations have real conversations. Trust me. Trust me. Regeneration conversation. You ain't got the patience. You don't.